Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hold on, let me speak, okay? L listen, look. You bozos asked me if I wanted to increase my credit limit. I mean, what the hell was I gonna say, no? Well, yo, how was I supposed to know I was gonna get laid off? No, listen, I don't know. I don't need you telling me how much I owe, okay? What, what, do, you, what do you want to know? How much I owe my ex-girlfriend? Or the three grand I owe my brother? No, no, you know, you can't cancel my credit card. Don't look, I got bills at the gang gang. Yo, sorry I didn't cut it, pal. Ugh. Hello, Vince. I know you. I'm Muriel. This is Michael. May we come in? Look, if you're selling something, I'm we're not selling anything. Good, because I don't have any money. You've been chosen. For what? We're here to offer you a chance at a whole new life. <laughs> I knew it. Goodbye. You're not listening, Vince. You've been chosen. I'd hate to see those pretty little fingers get smashed in my door, okay? We're here to help you. You want to help me? I need a job. Could use some money in my pocket. And while you're at it, why don't you help me get my girlfriend back? What we're offering you is a little bit more substantial. And what I'm offering you is a chance to get lost before I come out there and kick your ass. I'm gonna count to three. One. Two. What's this? It's a gift. Yeah, well, whatever it is, I'm not buying. Don't be so sure, Vince. Appointments recently. I guess looking back on your life, there's not much to be proud of. Problem kid, barely made it through high school. Petty thefts, all those DUIs. Is it any wonder that Leah dumped you? But you don't need me to remind you that failure sticks to you like gum on a shoe. You don't need to listen to this. You and I both know there's more to Vince Hansen than the record shows. There's something inside you, Vince. Something worth rescuing. That's why you've been contacted. That's why you've been chosen. We'll be back for you soon. That's a sales pitch Vince Hansen doesn't hear every day. But what exactly did they mean by chosen? In the Twilight Zone, Vince is about to find out the answer, whether he wants to or not. Traveling to another dimension. A dimension not only of sight and sound, but of mind. A journey into a wondrous land whose boundaries are only that of the imagination. You're entering the Twilight Zone. the Armand Freeway. It's jamming up from Avenue 50 all the way into downtown. Hey, Red! Hey. How's it hanging? To the left. Not that it does me any good. In this wheelchair. What do you got for me, Slick? The essentials. What else? It's up to 60 million. Feeling lucky today. Ah, uh, hmm. Nighttime reading. Just what I like. <laughs> Tuna fish again? What am I, a cat? It's healthy. Come on. All right. Mm. What do I owe you, kiddo? Can of brew calls, even. You're a good neighbor. You know that? 
drop dead. You first. So, how's the job search coming? <clears throat> well, I'm supposed to see Doyle this afternoon. He says he may have something lined up for me at the shop. Doyle? Doyle's a surly bastard. Yeah. Well, so are you. That's your problem, man. You hang out with the wrong kind of people. Damn, are they still around? Give me Michael Muriel. Give me that old-time religion. Give me that old-time religion. Give me that old-time religion. Is come knocking here, too? It's good enough for me. Freaking wackos. They even left me some video to watch. Had my name engraved on it and everything. Yeah, they left me a DVD. Oh, yeah? Did you watch it? Why the hell would I watch it? Yeah. I don't know, it's weird. Mine, mine, uh, it, it, it had all the stuff on it. What kind of stuff? I don't know, like, uh, you know, like personal stuff, like my life and uh, my past. They even knew about Leah. Get used to it, buddy. This is what happens when this old-time religion meets the information superhighway. You can't keep nothing a secret no more. Yeah. What, do you, what, what, what can we do, you know? We can have another beer. That's what we're going to do. It's good enough for me. What do you mean there's no job? You told me there's work here. I was being optimistic. What the hell good does that do me? Well, I'm sorry about that. Well, I can't have a lousy fry. May I remind you, things are tough all over. Yeah, but you're the one sitting there with all the french fries. And they're good, too. Do me a favor, let me finish my lunch in peace. Thank you. missionaries, but they're aliens. They're gonna wipe us out. We have to stop them. They've knocked out our satellites, and now we can't see their ships. And now they're here. They're gonna take us back to their planet, turn us all into slaves. Did you get lost? God, save us from them. And the latest opinion polls show the American public... And turn this crap off, would you? I'm depressed enough as it is. What the hell are you doing here? Well, it's nice to see you too, Gordo. I'll have a vodka tonic. Hold the tonic. <laughs> have it someplace else. You forgetting, man? You're barred from here. Is Leah around? You're a regular glutton for punishment, aren't you? I'm a romantic, is what I am. Yeah. This one I thought it was gonna be a nice day. I'm not loaning you any money. Well, that's good. Because I'm not here to borrow any. It's awful lonely out there without you. Come on, we'll try getting a job. Maybe it won't be so lonely. Look, I'm trying. I'm trying. I don't I don't understand how you're able to just go on with your life like I had never existed. You just don't get it, do you? Well, maybe I'm not as smart as you are. No argument there. Vince, I want to make something of my life, you know? I don't want to waste it hanging out and partying. It's time to grow up. Does any of this ring a bell? Baby, I love you. And I love you, okay? It's just... 
It's not enough. You don't mean that. Vince, you're not listening, all right? That's why you never get the message. But Leah, you got to give me another chance here, okay? Just let me explain. <laughs> There's nothing to explain, man. Stay out of this, Gordo. It's got nothing to do with you. You know, you're right. He never gets the message. Hey, don't hurt him! Too late. Uh, uh, Have you watched the DVD yet, Vince? Who are you freaks? What do you want from me? We're here to help you. Help someone else. Time is running out. I don't care. Leave me alone. You don't want that, Vince. You've been chosen. Inside you, Speed. Something worth rescuing. That's why you've been contacted. That's why you've been chosen. We'll be back for you soon. I'm telling you, Speed couldn't have gone anywhere without his chair. But I can't walk. And where could he be, Mr. Hanson? If he's the hell out of me, who are you? Richard Schultz, Homeland Security. If I could have everybody step outside, please. Why? Right this way, Mr. Hanson. Do you know if Mr. Moorcock had any visitors lately? Uh, yeah. Yeah, I was just telling the officers inside, uh, Michael and, and Muriel. At least that's what they called themselves. There's some kind of religious nuts, I think. Were you visited by them as well? Well, yeah, they hit the whole neighborhood. There's more of them out there, too. Who are these people? And what would they want with a guy like Speed? Mr. Hansen, I'd be extremely careful who I let into my home if I were you. What are you saying? They're gonna try and disappear me, too? There's a pattern for me. So Speed wasn't the first. There's been others? How many? You call me if you see Michael Muriel or any of their friends. Wait, wait, wait. Just between you and me. Are, are we talking aliens here? You have my number. Diplomats at the United Nations Security Council have traded threats over the failure of the global satellite network. In other news, the mysterious wave of missing persons around the world has baffled the international scientific... Look, Leah, I didn't come to make trouble. I just want to warn you. I've been trying to call you. Oh, that's great. Um, listen, there's something you need to know. I'm not exactly sure, but I think we're all in danger. 
Where is everyone? And didn't you see the sign? We're closed. Listen, you don't know what's been going on. People have been disappearing. Mm, Vince. No, it's true. You've got to come home with me. We'll lock ourselves in. And if anyone we don't know comes Vince, by... Vince, can I please say something? What? I just feel so much love for you right now. I just... I want us to be together. Forever. And we will. And I'll, and I'll do a lot better, I promise. You mean that? Oh, you know I do. Well, you could start by watching the DVD. What DVD? The DVD that Muriel and Michael left you. Leah. We've been chosen. Okay, Leah, listen to me. There's no need to be afraid. We can still get away. Well, don't be silly. They're waiting for us. I'm supposed to take you to them. Oh, my God. They've already turned you into one of them. Vince, you still want to be with me, right? Well, we can be together. Isn't that what you want? I owe you. Hey, hold on a second. The least you can do is tell me what you need it for. What if I told you speed was vaporized by aliens? Shouldn't have done that. Sorry, Vince. It's clear now. You were never meant to be chosen. Bye, Vince. I really did love you. Came back for you, buddy. Sorry you won't be with us, man.
Vince Hansen was given a chance for salvation. But leave it to Vince. One of life's perpetual losers to make the wrong choice. And to wind up just another cinder on an ash heap somewhere in the Twilight Zone.